all right what we'll be doing now very first thing uh, let me just uh, give you a quick uh, overview of what are the things we're going to do it for now very first thing we're going to do is uh, go ahead and uh, see the simulation tool how to set up that quickly out there secondly uh we'll see like how can we start using the components how can we uh, select the components from the given list of components we have out here then how can we start connecting them and what happens what are the different uh, things we need to keep in concern while we connect the wires or make some connections and uh, then we'll go ahead with starting with single led out here and then see like how can we quickly blink that and if we are able to do it quickly out there let us see like uh, what the different ways i can program it so we have a uh, blocks also at the starting then we also have a uh, coding part also so today i'll keep it simple with the blocks itself in the next session i'll teach you the fundamentals of how you can exactly start coding it and i'll try to show you the same thing also with the uh, the arduino here i will also have a uh, real arduino with me here i'll do it in this also so that you get to know exactly like what you do there is 100 percent the same what you're doing to your real life so without much delay let us get going into it so every, uh, what you can do is uh i would suggest like if you could just do it along with me even that would be fine even if you could do it later even that's perfectly fine but i'll take you through a step by step process so that you get to have exact idea what we can do with this so before we beforehand uh we have multiple different platforms out there so one of the most uh sorted and the most uh preferred platform for doing any of the simulation with an R arduino is a state answer tinkercad so this is pretty much uh, stable, pretty much uh, uh, performing very well and has almost no bugs, you can say, uh, to get started with the fundamentals. All right. So I'll be going starting with this. So let me get into Tinkercad out here. And all you have to do is you just need a single Gmail account to sign in with this. I have already signed in here, so I would not be doing it all over again. But I'll log out and log in just to show you like how can you do it. The reason so is because we have multiple different options to sign in and that's where we go ahead uh, some people find it difficult all right so i'll go here to my account on the top uh here's the me uh i'll just click on this and log out from here and i'll show you like what you have to do it exactly out there so i'm logging out from this particular uh think i got i'll go ahead and log in along with you all that so i'll click on the login here i'll click on the login and uh here are the few things you have educators student with a class code student account or your own account or you can click on personal account so what we're going to do is click on a personal account all right and here we have signed with a good gmail account and we're good to go ahead so i have signed with a gmail account so it's already signed in i'm into it now once you're into the tinkercad account tinkercad lets you do a lot many things for example it gets you to uh, do a 3d modeling so which we'll discuss about like whether it is a good one or we should go with the something else out there that we'll discuss someday later when we are learning about those things and uh, then it has a uh, code blocks where you can do a coding with the help of code blocks just by dragging and dropping here and then we have a few other things so i think so they have uh, slightly changed the uh, way it has to be taken care so earlier this 3d designs uh, circuits uh, code blocks were used to come on this side but currently they have changed it to the center all fine so because this if you want to do a 3d design you can click on this circuits then second one and code blocks the third one our concern for today is a circuits so click on circuits and that should take you to the circuits now all your circuits whatever you have been doing it will be listed here and uh, for our case i'll go ahead and click on new circuit because we're going to create a new circuit along with the things so what i want to create a new circuit fine they've literally changed the whole ui the way it looks so a little bit new to me also i'm seeing it right today so yeah a new circuit environment we have here uh before i go ahead, i'll also tell you uh a, a complete details of this particular board what i have with me here one by one now let me just give you an overview what you have in this and what you get in this particular environment at the first so you have a, a quick logo if you click on this you get back to the home itself right and then this is a name given to your project remember these names are uh pretty much uh you can say these names are pretty much um, unwilling or you can say like random names out there okay which you would feel like uh is not really going ahead uh well and easy out there so don't worry about it 
that's normal okay the way they do is the same way they just give some random names and many times you literally uh, have a difficulty in understanding like what exactly is that and how it is so on so it's perfectly fine you can always change that by double clicking onto it and then my new project so this is your name of the file all right my new project moving ahead you have some options which are all disabled for now the reason so because we have not yet imported any components into your environment this is your environment where or you can say this is your canvas where you are going to go ahead and put up all your uh, circuits and then we have a some color codings here and all of this what type of wire you want it and all of this but i don't think so this makes sense right now before we could import some components into it on to your right hand side you have a component list we have a panel which have all the components you listed for by default all the basic components are being listed so you see this all the basic components are listed and let me show you like what are the basic components you get into this you have resistor led and all of this you have a arduino board you have some servo motors you have some sensors and all of this i think so pretty much everything you would require to start with all right if you're an advanced pro and if you want some more things and you have a uh you can just go ahead and choose all and that should give you all the list of components it has into it which are almost many of that. So let me not just clutter it. I'll just make it to basic so that the things, what I require is available to me at a glance, fine. Uh, now moving further with this, on the top you have a code wherein you can go ahead and write down a code out there for your uh, Arduino. And then you have a start simulation and this will start the simulation when you are done with it, everything and coding is being done. And when you click on this, that's start the simulation. And while your uh, simulation is running, you cannot do any changes in the circuit. Remember that. Then, if you want to share this project to somebody else, you can do it with this. I'll show you that. And I'll also share the project of what we do today in this session. So, this is all about the UI you want to get in this. And this may term to change, okay, as I saw. But this has not changed. This window has not changed. The previous windows have been changed. Anyways, this should remain the same. So, how do you get a component firstly? So in our basic electronics uh, video, what earlier days we have seen like, all we have to do is just drag and drop it, right? So similarly, let me just drag and drop this Arduino. Sorry, let me click on this. Uh, I think so I have to get two times. So I have two Arduinos here. So I'll just delete one. I'll click on this and delete this. So, okay, I'll delete this fine. So, okay, I'll delete this board. And I have one up here. 